There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And this is Snakes by B. DeForest. Press space to play. Alright, let's give it a go, see what happens. Alright, there appears to be a playing field that's generating. And... I don't see any snakes. Room 2. Player one bites the dust. Wow. This is difficult. So you're a little snake, but it's not like snake, if that makes sense. You have to go around these rooms and pick up bits and pieces while avoiding what appears to be randomly generated uh, things I'm not sure that's ah uh, that's a terrible terrible start oh my goodness game over B de forest what are you doing to me here let's try this one more time this reminds me of the old tape based Amstrad that I used to have where it would take ages just to load the game in the first place. Right, I have to immediately go down, right? Nope, not quick enough. And, right, ah, uh, right, I've managed to briefly last for a few seconds, and it's game over again. Whew. Well, you know what? We may have a contender here, for the worst game I have ever played on this channel. And I've played Tommy's Toys games, folks. Let's try one more time. Yep. You, you literally, you have a second to change direction. And if you don't do that, it's game over. I am hammering the keys trying to change the direction. And it's doing nothing. So this is one of these rare, rare occasions where I'm actually playing the game more because I am genuinely frustrated and angry at how poor it is. So I'll try I'll try numpad. Will the numpad do anything? Let's find out. Room two. Player one bites the dust. Player one bites the dust. No. So the numpad did nothing, and the arrow keys are not responding very quickly. So let's try this one more time. <laughs> oh, the fact that the playing field takes so long to load, the fact that there's barely any sound, the fact that the graphics are poor. Oh, right. Here we go. Room two. And why are we starting on room two? Oh, there. I have managed to last longer than I ever did. Look at this score that I'm getting. Wow. Now I changed direction. Okay. I'm finally playing the game. Incredible. The control of this character is really, really poor. And it's over. And I'm dead again. And I'm dead again. Game over. Wow. Like, I, I barely ever take a game to pieces. But my goodness, snakes by B. DeForest. What were you thinking? That was horrific. You could have just made a simple snake clone. You could have freed up the playing field a little with more space. You started on room two for some reason instead of giving us a screen to select which room we're playing on. And you literally gave us, what, maybe half a second to hit a key when the key itself sometimes didn't even respond. What were you thinking, DeForest? Ah! So, what snakes? Snakes is not a snake clone because your character does not change size based on the little things that it gobbles. It's more of a simple maze game where you try and gather up dots 
but the maze design and the control of the character is possibly the most frustrating thing I have ever played on the channel. Except for a few Tommy's Toys games. And if you like me playing good random DOS games, it happens more often than you'd think. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on the channel, and if you like what you see there as opposed to here, you can always subscribe. And if you find it comedically amusing how terrible I find this game, then maybe you're one of my very forgiving patrons. Look at those great names. They put up with me even when I'm angry at a game. Good folk. So yeah, I cannot believe how poor that was. Let's hope it's an emulation issue and not a game issue. But I sincerely doubt it. Until next time.